Hey everyone, it's Manny again, back with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to transpose a song or change the pitch of a song using Logic Pro X. But just before we get into that, can I quickly show you our new stuff we've got here on Spotify. We're called the Goo Goo Gang. We write music for kids, popular music, lullabies and originals. If you can give us a like or put us on one of your playlists for kids, that would be the biggest help and it helps keep our videos going. Appreciate that. Now let's get back to the video. So if I go to Logic Pro X and I've got my song here, funnily enough written by the Goo Goo Gang, and I play it. Oh my God. Oh my God. There it is at the original pitch. Now say I want to make that higher or lower. What I've got to do is make sure I've got this open here. If you don't have it here, if you go up to View and you go to Inspector, so View and then Inspector, that might be out of the shot of the camera. You can also press the letter I on your keyboard, that brings up our Inspector here and it would look like something like this, see over here? Now where it says Region, the region we're looking at is here, the Goo Goo Gang song. Okay, now if I click on this arrow here, it brings up all these little options here. What we're looking for is transpose. It gives you the option to transpose by clicking on these arrows by 12, 24, that's a lot. 12 is a whole octave. But say we only want to shift ours just a little bit. What I'm going to do is click when in this space here and drag my mouse to the right. See it's got a plus one, that would be one semitone. If I go plus four, four semitones. So if I go to two, you'll see now it's going to be a little bit higher than it was before. Can you hear that there? It works really great with instrumentals. Look, I can go as high as I want. You know, five, and, you know, and play again. Same thing, if I go back down to uh, negatives, that would go be going down in semitone. So negative three. And you, again, you can hear it's lower. It works really well with instrumentals as well. When the vocals are in there, they get a bit warped. Now, if I go back to the blank, where it's blank there, okay, that's the original pitch of our song. Oh my God. Okay, you can also, if you're really picky, you can fine tune as well. All right, so I've got three semitones and then I'm fine tuning plus five. And you can play with that on the run. Okay. What I recommend though is you're pressing stop between each time you, you fix yours so you can get an accurate representation of what you've done. Anyway, thanks for watching, good luck, and I hope that helps. Bye.